Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is for the month of October 2020. My name is Wendy. In this reading I will pick out a card that represents your energy. And I will pick out another card to represent the energy of whoever you're dealing with in love. So this might be someone you're in a romantic relationship with, someone you're dating or someone you're getting to know, someone you're just interested in. Let's see what's going on with them and what's going on with you. This is a general reading so it might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I've already shuffled the deck. I'm using this, um, the Wild Unknown Tarot. Okay, let's cut the deck, and the first card that comes out is your energy. So uh, we have here the Eight of Swords. Let me just look at this energy here. So the Eight of Swords in um, in the traditional, um, what is it called, the traditional Rider weight deck, this one, the Smith weight Tarot deck, in, in that deck the Eight of Swords is a person who is trapped, um, surrounded by swords and has, and doesn't have a way out. Um, however, in this card, I don't feel that same energy. I don't feel like you're feeling trapped. But I do feel like this card represents you in a critical s stage in your life. Because this is a, I think it's called a chrysalis, where the, um, the butterfly is in a cocoon. Um... And it's like in its final stage of um, transformation. So I feel like in October you're in this critical point of transition. Where, you know, things are going to really transform in your life. And become something very different for you. Um, I feel like these swords that are pointing up are... Um, maybe like things that might be threatening to, um, to block your transformation. Um, just, this might be other people in your life or just different difficulties and obstacles in your life that might be threatening to, to postpone or to block this transformation that you're about to um, you're about to begin, but I feel like, you know, even though you have many difficulties around you, I feel like you are holding strong, and I feel like you are, um, you're gonna make it through, and you're gonna become, you know, um, this beautiful butterfly that is gonna come out of this cocoon, and just with a new sense of vigor and a new sense of excitement for your life. For this, like I said, just a completely new life that you're about to begin. That you're going to evolve into, transform into. Um, so it feels like a very good energy. And like I said, it feels like a just a very critical month for you in terms of your evolution and your transformation. Let's pick another card to represent um, whoever you're dealing with. I want to shuffle the deck one more time before I pick out this card. Cut the deck in three. Okay, the next card we have is Temperance. Okay, so the card of Temperance represents um, Sagittarius. This is whoever you're dealing with. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius.
So I feel like with temperance, this does represent a sort of a divine soulmate. Um, a divine, you know, a destined partner, I almost feel, this energy. I feel like this is someone who is, who you haven't met. I have this feeling, because I feel like you're inside this cocoon, and I feel like you haven't met anyone. So I feel like there's someone divine around that is on your, on your destined path in terms of love or partnership a new partner and I feel like with the temperance card which represents um, waiting and patience I feel like this person is just waiting for you this fire that is here in this card also um, represents destiny the flames of fire are fate and destiny so I feel like there's a, a faded partner for you that is waiting for you to transform into a butterfly before entering your life. But I feel like they are there and they are on their way. And whenever they meet up with you is when you will finally be out of this last metamorphosis stage here. Okay, I'm going to pick out um, one more card to represent um, the relationship here, the overall relationship. Okay, here we have the Six of Wands, so very nice energy here, you can see in this card there's a, all of this space is dark and black, and up here there's a nice rainbow. So I feel like it goes along with what I was saying here in the beginning, there, you're in this state of transitioning, transitioning from this dark period for, to into this bright, new, exciting, happy future. So, like I said, it's a big moment of, of change for you and of um, transformation. And in terms of this um, connection, this relationship, or whoever it is that you're dealing with in love, or who, whoever it is that you will in the future deal with in love, um, I feel like there's a bright future with this rainbow. There's a there's a promising and bright future that is coming your way. Um, but temperance is required. Temperance is the card of patience. So if you can, you know, stay strong and um, don't let all of these pointy swords that you see here, don't let these swords... Um, scare you or intimidate you or try to take away from you what is you know what is meant to be the beautiful future that is meant for you you know um, I think you'll be okay you just have to stay strong and don't let these swords um, you know defeat you don't let don't let these obstacles or inconveniences um, defeat you and take you away from your path of transformation and from your path to a, a new destined partner and to a brighter future with this beautiful rainbow. So that's what I see Aquarius. I hope this reading was helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Aquarius.